folks, Kathy Williams DeVries here, welcoming you to the 24th of 72 Rosé Etude Mini Masterclasses. We're looking at number 24 of the 40 Etudes. And this is uh, one of these uh, lovely slow, um, <clears throat> melodic, um, melancholy Etudes. It's a good, uh, it's a good way to practice your soft fingers um, and breath control and uh, also to look at phrasing. Um, there are parts of these, uh, this etude that actually remind me of being in a church. Um, I don't know, it, it, it for me speaks to me of church music. Um, if you can imagine um, a reedy stop of an organ inside a massive cathedral or something, that's just what, uh, that's just what it says to me. So um, I'm, I'm going to play through it, um, indicating any phrasing needed, um, any tips. Uh, there's a lot of throat tones in this piece, and uh, it gives me a chance to reiterate what I've said in a previous video, which is uh, covered fingerings. So, uh, especially for an A, if you put down 3-4, three, 3-4 four, three, four, and the C key, you'll notice the difference. G sharp, it's either one, two, three, and sometimes I add the E flat key. Brings it down a little bit in pitch two. G again can be one, two, three with the. Uh, I think I find it slightly better with the E flat key down. It makes it slightly more resonant. B flat is four, four, and a C key. So that, which sound pretty awful, go, sound a lot, uh, a lot better. So let's uh, let's play through it, shall we? And uh, I'll point out um, any particular bits of interest. It's only adagio, uh, quaver equals 96, so it's, it's quite a slow one. Churchy, uh, the little churchy bit I was referring to. Second line. Um, see if you can use your covered fingers as much as possible, and also note the uh, the phrasing. Crescendo um, really didn't need to be written in because as a part of the phrasing you want to get louder anyway. So start softly. You've probably gone down to a P again uh, because given that you have crescendoed for a couple of bars. And very measured too. <laughs> Probably 
notice that I trill, that I slow start slowly and make it get faster. I think that's quite appropriate, otherwise... I think it goes better. Now this next series of bars is uh, a good place to uh, practice your long tones, especially with the, um, <clears throat> especially with the, uh, the, the, uh, the jaws, the uh, crescendo di crescendo. So, and see, even if you have to breath attack this top C, we want it to start as softly as possible. So don't pinch. It, it is um, quite tempting to pinch your jaw to get out that C. You don't need to do that. If anything, have the jaw slightly open and relax. Now here we've got a piano crescendo going to a double P, um, much like in some of Brahms. Um, this happens. Um, again, um, no pinching on the top C sharp. We want it to come out as softly as possible and that can only come out if um, if the jaw's relaxed, if it's not pinching. Because you shouldn't need to pinch a top C sharp, it should just come out. And leave that double P to the last second and you'll get a really, really nice um, contrast. sharp down actually you can see the difference and here it's quite intense make this quite an intense sound and uh, even um, stronger and more intense here and loud here. Now this next section I think is the um, section where again it's like an organ in a church. Um, it's quite angelic for a few bars and then we crescendo. We've got these down, these um, descending scales. Um, first is A minor, then you've got a C major um, and uh, A minor again. Um, and as you go down each scale it's getting more and more intense until you get a very rapid diminuendo leading into the next line. So, and again very measured here as we were in the third line. <laughs> covered fingerings again. Um, if anything when you play louder they help bring up the pitch a bit. And then again we've got this church like
rhubarb phrase is also very good um, as a, a crescendo, decrescendo, long note. Don't change the air when you change from the D sharp to the D, just keep blowing. And again, soft here in building. And now just a whisper. because we're building towards the B flat. And again, church like. nothing. So um, right now I'll play the whole etude through for you.
And then you have it, that's the 24th Rosé Etudes of the Rosé 40 Etudes. Thanks for listening.